Hey guys, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. Uh, today I thought I'd throw out a quick video, just kind of an update and a review kind of video. We got some changes coming. But uh, first, I wanted to do a quick update on my son. I've had a few emails. Just thought I'd let you know how he's doing. Uh, a couple weeks ago, he went in, had surgery on his throat. He had a growth on the inside of his throat. They removed a big piece, I guess you'd say, probably about the tip of my finger out of his throat. They didn't get it all, they got that out. Sent it in for a biopsy. Uh, results came back. Thankfully, not cancer again. As you all know, he does have leukemia. But uh, came back and actually surprised everyone. Uh, what he has, right up hand, can't tell you the names. I can get back to you if you want to know. Uh, adults actually get it. It's a virus. It is almost unheard of in children. His team of doctors, he has a hell of a team down there. They've been doing a lot of research. They've only been able to come up with about three other children that are recorded having it. I don't know if that's just in the area, in the state, where it is very rare so they're unsure how to treat the virus uh, right now it's just kind of a hit and miss kind of thing hoping to do what they can so honestly it's been a rough little while here uh, last Thursday all day at the hospital Friday all day at the hospital Got a little break on the weekend. I had to work Sunday, running all over Central Texas. Uh, Monday, all day at the hospital again. We've had to change up some meds. He's on quite a few drugs and whatnot, but. So we're just hoping. Uh, it's just kind of crazy right now. But I wanted to thank everyone that did email, you know, all the thoughts, you know, y'all being here for us that's that's awesome i really appreciate it but i will continue to keep you updated on how things are going uh with that i'm gonna jump into the review i got some changes coming thought a lot about it with me and him going to the hospital a lot i do like that 511 push pack but that small pack the hospital we go to is about 28 miles away, which isn't too bad. If something happens and I'm walking back with a sick child, 28 miles becomes a long, long way. You know, it could be anything. It could be a natural disaster. Anything could happen where we have to walk back. And that little bag is not going to get me and him back. Uh, my job, I go to a lot of construction sites. I found myself pretty close to 100 miles from home a couple different times, checking out construction sites. A um, 100 mile walk with that little bag. It's doable if you know what you're doing. It wouldn't be pleasant. It would, it would be a rough time. Um, thinking about going a little bit bigger now just to cover all the bases, not only for myself, but for my son who's gonna be with me when we go back and forth to the hospital. Uh, if I catch myself 100 miles away from home and I have to walk back, I'd rather be a little more comfortable than fighting it the whole way. So what I'm gonna review here is a bag that I'm gonna be jumping into. I know y'all have seen this like a million times, so it's not gonna be a long review of it. <clears throat> this is 511's Rush 24. This one is in OD Green. I know y'all, anyone that's been doing this for a while has seen this bag. It's an oldie, but it's time tested. It stands up. It is a tough ass bag. You can do anything with this bag. They do have the Rush 12, the Rush 24, the Rush 74, and now they have the Rush 100. I got the 24. 
Uh, currently on Amazon, this is running $129.99. It's made out of 1050B nylon. Unless you get it in multicam. If you get it in multicam, it's 1000B nylon. So, something to think about, I guess. It does have a water repellent coating on it. It does have YKK zippers. It does work with the 511 tier system. They say it can hold a 60 ounce hydration. It has a 60 ounce hydration pocket on it. Uh, looking around, I did find a 100 ounce water bladder that fits in here. Absolutely beautiful, perfect. Uh, I can tell you more about that if you'd like to see it. This is Molly and Slick Stick compatible. Overall, it's a good bag. I used this for a while. I was actually using this as my EDC bag when I was doing a lot more work than I am now uh, because of my son's situation. I'm not working that much. I do some inspections here and there, but I'm not working near what I used to. So most of the time I am alone in a company vehicle. So having a bigger bag isn't gonna be a problem. I'm not taking up space or anything like that. So here we go with the quick review on this. Since y'all have probably seen this. If you haven't, go ahead, shoot me a text or leave a message, shoot me an email, anything like that. We can go into this a lot deeper, but there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on this. Uh, so what we got, as you can see, this thing is covered. Absolutely covered. And Molly attachments, they are everywhere on this bag even on the bottom. Tough old bag right here. Uh, we're gonna jump to the admin pouch real quick. On the front, you do have a nice size square, a hook and loop, Velcro, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. Lots of organization in this pouch. On the lid of it, there are two big old pockets. Lots of room. You can fit magazines in there. I'm not talking reading magazines. You know where I'm coming from. On the front here, you do have two big pouches up here in the front. They do have Velcro straps, so you can secure things in there to keep them in place. There's another little pouch over here. On the opposite side, you have pen and pencil loops. There's a big back pouch back here. And also, there is another huge, 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 huge zippered pouch behind that. There's just tons of organization in there. You do have the two little clips here for keys, mini flashlights, whatever floats your boat throw them on there. Uh, going into the upper pouch, I do actually like this. I know the 12 has like a solid one single pouch across the top. I actually prefer the divided pouch. You look in there, there's a nice fleece lined pocket right inside there. Plenty deep as you can see. There's also a little tiny little mesh pocket over here that you can throw some things in. I'm kind of a nut about organization. I like organized. I don't like just dumping it all in one spot. The other side, exact same thing. Really nice fleece lined pouch. Another little mesh pouch right there fit a lot of things in this bag uh, this bag is what was it 2275 cubic inches about 37 liters lots of room in this bag it may be too big for some people I carried it for a while I really liked it I actually miss this bag uh, going into the main pouch, again, 
YKK zippers. They got the little tie-offs. They got the 511 symbol on them. Pretty much clamshells open. It's a lot of space in there. That is your sunglass pouch, phone pouch, whatever. That's up on the top. We'll get into that in a minute. In the very back here, you do have a big zippered mesh pouch. Put things in. Below that, there is a stretchable pouch down here with a way to cinch it, get it nice and tight, whatever you happen to put in there. You probably could put a water bladder in here. I wouldn't, that's just me. Very, very deep bag. It, lots of room in here. On the lid, down on the bottom, you do have another zippered pouch down here. Lots of room. Above that, you have a pretty good sized mesh pouch. And above that, you have a smaller mesh pouch. What I like about this smaller one is you can also unzip it from the bottom. So depending on how you got the bag open, you can go through the top or you can go through the bottom to get in whatever's in this pouch, which that's a nice touch. I, I like that. So I can go through either which way. <clears throat> Jump in to the back here. Well, let's go right up here to the top. This is your sunglass pouch. That is, again, fleece lined. You can put sunglasses, safety glasses, cell phones, whatever you want in here. Just a little bit of extra protection. Straps, as you can see, again, more molly on those. A sternum strap, it does have the sternum strap, which is adjustable. You can actually remove this with this little C-clip and then adjust it to whatever height you need it at. You can put it up here, put it down here, put it down, wherever you need it. Totally adjustable. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. I've heard some people talking about when they use them, if you're jostling around enough, they actually come loose. I've taken this bag hiking. I've hiked quite a few miles with this bag and I've never had that problem. It has never come loose, it has never fallen off. Some people claim to have had that problem. I haven't. On the very back here, this is nice, it has Not super breathable, but it is comfortable. This stuff is very slick. It's basically the same material as the bag. So instead of kind of digging into your back when you're walking, it does slide on your back. It's really comfortable. Down towards the bottom, there are some kind of rubbery grips to help hold it a little bit. And it doesn't wear as much on these pads scraping against your belt. There is a drain hole back here. The water bladder will go in that area. It does have the hook here. It feeds through into the main pocket and comes out left or right side, depending on which side you want your hose on. Uh, the lid of it, there's a plastic piece. It can be removed. I have heard some areas actually uh, some companies actually make the, the armor plating that you can put into here. I haven't really looked into that. I thought about it, but I haven't. I kind of like just being here. Maybe eventually if things get a lot worse, we'll think about putting a plate back in here. But for now, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, 
on the sides, you do have two long zippered pouches. Probably fit a water bottle in here. The problem is, if you put one in here, it's gonna take up room inside the bag. I prefer to put smaller things in here. Maybe if I had a skinnier water bottle, I'd put one in here. Also on the inside, there is, if you look, a little pocket hidden up in there. It took me a while. I didn't even know it was there, to be honest with you. I just happened to come across it one day. But there is a very small pocket up in here. Well, not super small, but there is a small pocket in there. And if you're not looking, you're going to miss it. Same on the other side. It is a big long pocket. This one also has that kind of little concealed pocket in there. The compression straps, I do like those, but as you can see, they're only at the top of the bag. What I'm considering doing is actually getting some of the 511 tear straps and maybe putting one or two down here so I can compress it towards the bottom a little bit more. That would be one of my cons about the bag is only having the one at the top. If this is too full, it, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I'm seriously thinking maybe a tear strap just right across here, right across there, kind of compress the bottom a little bit more too. Uh, as you saw, it does have a nice big drainage hole at the back. It also has two drainage holes on the bottom and some more loops. If you want to run something through there, carry a bedroll or something on the bottom, carry a tent, whatever. All in all, this is a really good bag. Uh, at the top, like I said, you got left and right access for your water bladder, whichever side you decide, run your tube out of. Handle, handle is amazing. That is stitched beyond belief. That sucker ain't going nowhere. That is a tough little handle right there. We're probably gonna put that back into circulation here real quick, just because everything that's going on, I think I need a little bit more stuff with me than that little, than my smaller EDC bag can carry. So I think this, is going to become my EDC slash get home or emergency bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just think preparedness, you gotta be prepared. That little bag, that's mostly EDC. There is a small element of preparedness in it, but in certain situations, that bag is not gonna cut the mustard. Can I do it on my own with it? Probably, it would be a little rough, but I think I could. I've got a little bit of knowledge, let's say. Uh, but I think going with the bigger bag and being a little more prepared, not just for me, but for my son who might be with me, looking out for both of us, things going on in the world, man, it is just crazy, big time crazy. So, we're going to start moving into a more of a preparedness mindset. I was kind of watching some of my videos with my son while we were at the hospital, and I noticed I was focusing a lot on the EDC side. I think now we're going to start moving more into the preparedness side, getting a little bit heavier. Also with that, with uh, the cooling temperatures. Here in Texas, we're starting to get nice, cool, 80s, 90s. If you're in Texas, you know that's nice, cool weather. 
So I got a tent. I'd like to sit here and go over with y'all. Maybe spend the night in that. I got some sleeping pads, some sleeping bags. I got a bunch of stuff coming up with the cooler weather. Maybe get my little guy out there with me. We can go through some of his bags and stuff. But I'm not gonna keep it much longer. I just wanted to make this a real quick video. Let y'all know, I appreciate y'all. I probably haven't said it, but I wanna say it. Uh, man, I appreciate y'all watching these videos. I know this is taking time out of y'all's lives, out of y'all's days to sit and watch a 20, 30, whatever minute video. That's your time and you're spending it with me. I wanna thank you for that. I, I really do appreciate that. I appreciate you spending your time with me. That's awesome, guys. So again, I'm gonna let you go. Y'all, be safe. Be prepared, and we will see y'all a little bit later. Have a good one, guys.